BGMC. The biblical truth lives here. We are living in the time like no other in history. But fortunately for us, God wrote it all down in His prophecies. Find out what prophecies happened this week ripped straight from the headlines. Stay tuned for the Prophecy Headlines News Show on The Remnant's Call. Stories always start from Israel. La primera historia siempre comienza desde Israel. This is a, the first story, I wanted to start off with something fun. La primera historia, voy a comenzar con algo divertido. That's a car. Este es un carro. I think everybody knows that's a car. Y todos creo que saben que ese es un vehículo. It's got a pretty cool paint job. Tiene un buen trabajo de pintura. But what's really nice about this Israeli car Pero lo que es, eh, bueno de este carro israelí. is it drives itself. Es que se maneja solo. It went from San Francisco to Manhattan all Man, by itself. Manejó desde San Francisco hasta Manhattan solo. It went through cities, towns, deserts, and forests and didn't get in one accident. Pasó por, por ciudades, pueblos, uh, desiertos y bosques y no, lo, no hubo ningún accidente. I think everybody should get one of these cars. Yo creo que todos deberían tener That, that way you can text while you're driving. De esa manera puedes textear mientras manejas. And the car will do the driving for you. Y el carro manejará por ti. Or especially if you leave here at one o'clock in the morning. O especialmente si sales de aquí a la una de la mañana. You can, you can just program your car to go home for you. Puedes programar el carro para ir a tu casa. Wouldn't that have been good? Does everybody sleep on the ride home? <laughs> so that's a cool story. That, that's, that's, that's really fascinating. All right. Now, another part that we're getting very close to the end. Oh. In New Jersey, of all places, en todos los lugares, pero New Jersey, they found a red heifer. Encontraron una vaca roja. Jersey, yes, yes, we're here in New Jersey. <laughs> Uh, and the, this in Lakewood, where all the Orthodox Jews are. Okay, so they need this red heifer Necesitan esta vaca roja um, to be able to offer it as a sacrifice para poder ofrecerla como sacrificio and use all the ashes for the water of purification y utilizar esas cenizas para el agua de la purificación for the third temple. Para el tercer templo. So remember, they were last week they were practicing the Passover offering, the Recuerda, Pesach offering. La semana pasada, practicaron la ofrenda para la Pascua. They have all the garments for the high priest made. Y ya tienen los, los vestimentas para el sacerdote. They have a Kohen Hagadol now. Tienen ya un sumo sacerdote. They have all the things for the temple. Tienen todas las cosas para el templo. Now the Lord has brought forth a red heifer. Ahora el Señor ha mandado una vaca roja. Get ready, people. Prepárense. The party is about to begin. La fiesta está a punto de empezar. Okay. And here's another interesting thing that the Israelis have designed. Aquí hay otra cosa interesante que los israelíes han diseñado. They made new body armor. Están haciendo un nuevo um, equipo de, de protección de cuerpo. That is designed like, designed like fish scales. Que es diseñada como las escamas de un pescado. So if somebody tries to stab you, it's... They won't get to you. Si alguien te trata de apuñalar, no van a poder entra, uh, apuñalar. If somebody tries to shoot you, si alguien te va a tratar de disparar, it won't be able to penetrate it. No va a poder penetrar la bala. And it's very light and very flexible. Y es muy flexible y liviano. Let me tell you, from wearing uh, a bulletproof vest, déjame decirte de, por haber vestido it uno, is not very comfortable. Wait. Un chaleco antibalas no es confortable. And it's not very easy to move around in it. Y no es fácil el poderte mover. So if you're in the military, si estás en la milicia, um, this will help you a lot. Esto te ayudará bastante. And there's a lot of people in the military in Israel. Y hay mucha gente en la milicia en Israel. In our next story, there is uh, the Antichrist. Y esta es la historia del Anticristo. Um, you know, in this deal that they made with Iran, en este, uh, que con, con Irán, abomination said it was too hard dijo que era muy for them to recognize Israel. Para Israel. 
I thought you guys wanted to be part of the world community. Yo pensé que querían ser parte de la comunidad. That means you got to recognize Guatemala. Significa que tienen que reconocer And Guatemala. Mexico and Ecuador. Y México y Ecuador. Okay, you can recognize them, but you can't recognize Israel. Puedes reconocerlos a ellos, pero no puedes reconocer Israel. That was too hard for little boy uh, Obama there. Esto era muy difícil para este pequeño niño Obama. Donkey. Anti-Semitism stories. Historias de antisemitismo. In, um, at a Dutch soccer stadium. In un estadio uh, de fútbol. Uh, uh, Dutch. 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 Somewhere Dutch. Somebody with Dutch and Spanish. Dutch. Alemán? I don't know. That one I don't know. <laughs> right, anyway. Um, en un estadio de fútbol. There were, Jewish pe there were Jewish people playing football. Había gente que estaba jugando fútbol, gente and judía. They started the chant against the Jews. Y comenzaron a gritar en contra de los judíos. They said my father was a commando. Dijeron mi padre es un comando. My mother was in the SS, meaning the Nazis. Y mi madre estaba en los SS, que significa los nazis. Together they burned the Jews. Juntos ellos quemaron a los judíos. And Jews burn best. Y los judíos se queman mejor. Hamas, Hamas. Jews to the gas. Hamas, Hamas, judíos a las, uh, al gas. This is the anti-Semitism that's going on around the world, people. Este es el antisemitismo que está ocurriendo en el mundo. That's when you take your shofar and Ahí es donde tomas tu shofar. you say, come on, let's go, baby. Dices, okay, pero, pero, ven we'll, aquí. we'll see who ends up in the gas chamber. Veamos quién termina en la cámara de gas. And then you can also use your Louisville slugger. Y también puedes utilizar tu Louisville. They tend to work well. It's a weapon of choice. All right. Let's go on to the end time prophecies. Take a note about what's going on, everybody. There, if you want the email, let me tell you, there are so many stories we could easily be here for three hours. All right. End time prophecy. The first one is a good one. In Bereshit, in Genesis chapter 30, verse 22, God took note of Rachel's prayer. Prayer is a good thing. La oración es algo bueno. And God listens to prayers. Y Dios escucha oraciones. They've been doing some studies. Han estado haciendo algunos estudios. Actually, 1,500 different studies. 1,500 estudios diferentes. Of, uh, these were medical studies. Son estudios médicos. It indicates that people who pray que indica que la gente que ora, while sick Mientras está enfermo, get physically better faster. Se ponen físicamente mejor que eh, rápido. So they had like two people that had heart attacks. Tuvieron dos personas que tenían ataque al corazón. One who was a believer in God. Uno que era un creyente en Dios. And another who was not. Y otro que no. The person who was a believer, la persona que era un creyente, who sought the face of the Lord, que buscó el rostro del Señor, they got better far faster than the one that didn't. Se mejoró mucho más rápido que el que no uh, cree en Dios. And in one of the other studies, y otro de los estudios, was that they had teams of people praying. Habían grupos de personas orando. Teams of people praying for sick people. Habían grupos de personas orando por personas. The group that was prayed for el grupo que oraba got better faster. El grupo por el cual se estaba orando se mejoró. So prayer does work. La oración se Amen. 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 All right, let's go to the next prophecy. Vamos a la próxima I got profecía. One. In Esther chapter 3, verse 12, verso 12, it's a very important date on the calendar. Es una fecha muy, muy importante en el calendario. The 13th day of the first month. En el día 13 del primer mes. Okay, it's a, it's a day that Haman signed the order, had the king sign the order to kill all the Jews. Es el día en que eh, el rey firmó la orden para matar a todos los judíos. Now keep that in mind. Mantén esto en mente. In this next story. Y en esta próxima historia. Why did I call Obama the anti-Messiah? ¿Por qué llamó a Obama el anti-Mesías? Because he was pushing to get this deal done with Iran. Porque él estuvo empujando que este este um, 
trato con Irán, Irán se haga. And why did he, he wanted it done on April 1st. Y lo quiso, y quiso que se hiciera en abril primero. Why did he want it done on April 1st? ¿Por qué lo quiso hacer en abril primero? Because he's a fool? Porque es un tonto. Well, that he is, but anyway. Pero, sí lo es, pero no, no es, ese no es el punto. God does not follow the world calendar. Dios no sigue el calendario del mundo. He follows his calendar. Él sigue su calendario. That date that they signed the framework for the nuclear agreement ese día que firmaron el contrato para el acuerdo nuclear was the 13th day of the first month. Era el día 13 del primer mes. It's the same day es el mismo día that Haman had the king sign the order to kill the Jews. As we say, coincidence is not a kosher word. Como decimos, la coincidencia no es una palabra kosher. Next story. In Proverbs 6, verse 19, en Proverbios 6, verso 19, Uh, it talks about a false witness Habla de falso testimonio. and those people that lie with every breath y aquellos que mienten con cada respiro. and that would be the Muslims. Y eso serían los musulmanes. Muslims do not tell the truth los musulmanes no dicen la verdad. and here's the story to tell you that. Aquí hay historia para decirte. Now we sign this framework Hemos firmado este contrato. Now the president of Iran Ahora el presidente de Irán is saying we're not going to stick to our agreement that's only a week old. Dice que no va no van a estar a seguir el acuerdo que apenas tiene una semana. Unless you lift all the sanctions now. A no ser que dejes todas las sanciones. So that means you, your signature quiere decir que tu firma and your agreement y tu acuerdo means nothing because you're a Muslim. Significa nada porque eres un musulmán. You can't trust a Muslim, period. No puedes confiar en los musulmanes. One week they held to their agreement. One una week. Semana estuvieron con el It wasn't even a whole week. No era ni siquiera una semana que duró. Psalm 83. Salmo 83. In Psalm 83, verses 4 and 5. Salmo 83, verses 4 and 5. It talks about Renary. No. <laughs> It talks about people coming against Israel. Habla de la gente viniendo en contra de Israel. And it names a group of nations. Y nombra el grupo de naciones. Now for 2,000 years, this could not have happened. Ahora por 2,000 años, esto no hubiera pasado. Because Israel was not a nation. Porque Israel no era una nación. And here in this next story, y aquí en esta próxima historia, the Arab League, la Liga Árabe, submitted a, a detailed timetable, envió una, 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 una línea de tiempo detallada to end Israel's occupation of the West Bank para terminar la ocupación israelí de, de Cisjordania and the other and Judea and Samaria y Judea, y Judea y Samaria uh, it's not your land to give away no es tu tierra para que puedas entregar but the Arab League pero la Liga Árabe consists of the nations you find in Psalm 83 consiste de las naciones que encuentras en el Salmo 83 And now they're saying we're going to destroy Israel. Y ahora están diciendo que van a destruir Israel. Oh, but they want peace with us. Pero ellos quieren paz con nosotros, dice. Hmm. Next story. Próxima historia. In Exodus 20, verse 13. Shemot 20, verse 13. Exodus 20, verso 13. Jehovah says, do not murder. Jehovah dice, no matarás. Murder is when you think about the action. Matar es cuando piensas en la acción. And then follow through with that action. Y sigues con esa acción, la haces. See if you're driving your car. Si estás manejando tu vehículo. And your wheel falls off. Y tu llanta se sale. And you get into an accident. Y tú te metes en un accidente. You first blame Connor. Primero culpas a Connor. But if you get in an accident and you kill somebody. <laughs> si te metes en un accidente y matas a alguien. You were not thinking of doing that. No estabas pensando en hacer eso. That is killing. Eso es matar. Murder. Asesinar. is if a woman is pregnant es que si una mujer está embarazada, and she has the baby aborted that is called murder but there are some people in America waking up Pero hay mucha, hay en que se están there's a great stress going on in this land because there are some people starting to really stand up for the word of God and one of those people is the Kansas governor he signed the nation's first ban 
on an abortion procedure. Él firmó la primera prohibición en la nación acerca del aborto. And one of the procedures y uno de los procedimientos is what the doctor does. Es lo que el doctor hace. He takes a scissor. Que toma su tijera. He sticks it in the womb of the mother, the, of the pregnant mother. Y lo mete en el vientre de la madre embarazada. And he cuts the neck. Y le corta el cuello. Murdering the child. Asesinando a ese bebé. And he cuts the head of the baby off. Y le corta la cabeza del bebé. So the Kansas governor says you can't do that anymore. El gobernador de Kansas dijo no puedes hacer eso más. And also another procedure he stopped. Y otro procedimiento también lo de lo prohibió. Uh, he stopped abortions in the second trimester. Pro, él prohibió abortos en el segundo trimestre. So you have some people beginning to stand up. Estás mirando algunas personas que com que están comenzando a levantarse. So keep the governor of Kansas in your prayers. Mantengan al gobernador de Kansas en sus oraciones. That he stands even stronger with the Lord. Que incluso se ponga más fuerte en el Señor. Okay. In the Bible, en la Biblia, they did have the welfare system. De, sí tenía el sistema de bienestar social. But it wasn't called welfare. Pero no se llamaba welfare. It was called workfare. Se llamaba trabajo. In Leviticus 19, en Leviticus 19, verse 9 and 10, versos 9 al 10, if you were poor, si tú eres pobre, or a widow, o viuda, you would, the farmers would leave the corners of their field los agricultores dejaban las esquinas de su campo, for you to go pick your food for free. Para que tú vayas a recoger comida uh, libre de precio. But nobody would come and do it for you. Pero nadie vendría y lo haría por ti. But in America, Pero aquí en America we have this welfare system which stands tenemos este sistema de welfare o bienestar social que it is not what God wants at all no es lo que Dios quiere so a lot of people stay there and they collect their paychecks mucha gente está se queda ahí sentada y colecta los pagos but in Massachusetts a Maine sorry Maine 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 they stopped that se tuvieron eso they had people 9,000 people got off of welfare 9,000 personas salieron del plan de welfare. Because they said if you don't come and volunteer. Porque les dijeron si no vienes y te haces voluntario. Then you're not going to receive your check. Entonces tú no recibirás tu cheque. Amen. Amen. That's what we should do. Eso es lo que deberíamos hacer. We have garbage. Tenemos basura. Let's separate it. Que lo separen. Let's recycle it. Reciclémoslo. You want your welfare check? Come and separate the garbage. ¿Quieres tu dinero de welfare? Ven y separa de la basura. Okay? Because we have so many people on it. Porque tenemos mucha gente en the este other part servicio. about eating, la otra parte comer. the body needs to help one another. El cuerpo necesita ayudarse el uno al otro. Where if you need some food, si necesitas comida, the body should help feed those in need. El cuerpo debe ayudar a alimentar a esos en necesidad. So if you need something here, come to me. Si necesitas algo, ven y habla conmigo. You got to sit through a service first. Tienes que sentarte en un servicio. You got to be here on Shabbat. Tienes que estar aquí en Shabbat. Then I'll give you some food to take home with you. Y te daré comida para que te lleves a casa. Okay, you got to hear the word of God first. Tienes que escuchar la palabra de Dios. Because you know what? My God provides for those who worship Him in spirit and in truth. Mi Dios provee para aquellos que lo adoran en espíritu y verdad. Amén. Next slide. Próxima página. Says in Psalm 127, verse 1. Salmo 127, verse 1. Unless Jehovah guards the house, the watchmen watch in vain. A no ser que Jehovah cuide de la casa, la, los trabajadores cuidan en vano. Okay. America has fallen very far away from God. América se está alejando mucho de Dios. And God is allowing our borders to be uh, very uh, easy to get through. Y Dios está permitiendo que nuestros... Uh, Limites sean fáciles para entrar. This is a very scary story. Esta es una historia muy uh, de tener mucho miedo. Now, a lot of people cross the U.S.-Mexican border. Mucha gente cruza el, eh, los límites de México con Estados Unidos. We all know about that. Y todos sabemos de eso. But an Iraqi was caught crossing the U.S.-Mexican border. Pero capturaron a un iraquí cruzando el, los límites Estados Unidos-México. He was a military man. Era un hombre de la milicia. He spoke fluent Russian. Él habló, uh, habla ruso. Get ready, people. Prepárense. Remember last summer. Recuerden el pasado verano. Over a quarter of a million people were bus trained in from Mexico into the United States. Casi un cuarto de millones de personas entraron en tren para en los límites de Estados Unidos. 
This guy was a commander. Este hombre es un comandante. Get ready. Get Bye. ready. Next story. Próxima historia. In Genesis, this is... Shh. Shh. In Genesis 16. En Genesis 16. God promises something. Dios promete algo. To Ishmael. Para Ishmael. He said he will be a great man. Él dijo que él será un gran hombre. But he will always fight with his brothers. Pero siempre peleará con sus hermanos. And that promise we're going to see in this news story. Y esta promesa la veremos en las noticias. Here in Syria. Aquí en Siria. Here in Syria. Aquí en Siria. You have two different groups of Ishmaelim. Tienes dos grupos de Ishmaelim. The Shia and the Sunni are all Muslim. Los Shia y los Sunni son musulmanes. But Hamas, Pero Hamas and Al Qaeda, y Al -Qaeda and ISIS, y ISIS took y over the, the Palestinian refugee camp. Tomó poder de un, uh, campo de refugio palestino. And was killing many of the Palestinian refugees. Y estuvo matando mucho de los refugiados palestinos. What did God say in Genesis? ¿Qué dijo Dios en Génesis? He will always fight amongst his brothers. Él siempre peleará entre sus hermanos. And here you see it right in the news. Y lo ves aquí en las noticias. Muslim fighting Muslim. Los musulmanes peleando con musulmanes. Now ISIS has taken over the Palestinian refugee camp of 18,000 people. Ahora los musulmanes, los ISIS está tomando poder de un campo de refugiados donde hay 18 mil palestinos. That's bad, people. Eso es algo malo. Very bad. Muy malo. Next uh, prophecy. La próxima profecía. In Revelation 13, verse 16. En Revelación 13, verso 16. It talks about the mark of the beast. Habla de la marca de la bestia. The mark of the beast in the hand or the forehead. Habla de la marca de la bestia en la cabeza o en la mano. Here is the Center for Disease Control in America. Este es el Centro de Control de Enfermedades de América. A lot, we promote that you should not get vaccinated. Nosotros decimos, aconsejamos, no. Nosotros decimos que no hay que vacunar. Most of the vaccinations have pork derivatives in them. La mayoría de, de, de las vacunas tienen derivados de cerdo. Most of the vaccinations do cause some sort of problem in the body. La mayoría de vacunas causan algún problema en el cuerpo. But the CDC is saying that every child has to be vaccinated now. Pero el Centro de Control de Enfermedades dice que todo niño debe ser they're taking, they're taking away your parental rights. Están quitándote tus derechos de padre. Welcome to the first stage of Nazi Germany, everybody. Bienvenidos a la primera, al primer paso de Nazi Germany. Welcome to the first phase of Cuba. Bienvenidos a la primera fase de Cuba. Cuba used to be a, a democracy state. Cuba solía ser un, un estado democrático. Then uh, Mr. Castro took over. Y después el señor Castro tomó poder. And now you got to do what Castro says, correct? Y ahora tienes que hacer lo que Castro dice. Okay, this is what's happening now. Esto es lo que está pasando ahora. Because why? ¿Por qué? Because they're going to put a mark in you. Porque van a poner una marca en ti. To make sure that you got the the, the vaccination. Para asegurarse que tienes la, la vacuna. Get ready, everybody. Prepárense. This is already law. It's going before uh, the House and Senate in California to force everybody to get a vaccination. Esto va a entrar en el en, uh, Senado en California para obligar a la gente que se vacune. It has already passed committee. Ya ha pasado la comisión. Here, pagan prayers. Oraciones paganas. God says in Deuteronomy 12, Deuteronomy 12, verse 3, Dios dice en Deuteronomio 12, verso 3, you're to smash down the gods of other nations. Tú tienes que destruir los dioses de otras naciones. Here in the Des Moines, Iowa, es aquí en Des Moines, I, uh, Iowa, um, they had a witch pray to open up the government the, uh, last week. Hicieron que una bruja rece para abrir la sesión del gobierno. And uh, it was interesting, all of a sudden, tornadoes happened. Y era interesante porque de repente los tornados comenzaron. Anybody a... notice the tornadoes over the last couple of days? ¿Alguien ha notado tornados en los últimos días? A lot of places in Iowa just got whoosh, wiped out. 
Muchos lugares en Iowa fueron uh, barridos. Cause causa. and effect. Y efecto. You do something, God does something else. Tú haces algo y Dios hace algo más. You want to pray to this, I don't even know, she was a Unitarian Universalist. Ella era una universalista unita, un, unitaria. We call on the Spirit to sí. present to us. Le llaman al Espíritu para que se presente. And as for me and my house, y por mi casa y we're yo. going to serve the Lord. Serviremos al Señor. Next story. Entonces, the Word of God. La palabra de Dios. In Luke 16, verse 17, en Lucas 17, verse 16, verse 17, the Lord said, My word will not come back to me void. Él dijo que mi palabra no vendrá a mí vacía. This is a good, uh, an interesting story. Es una historia interesante. In the state of Tennessee. En el estado de Tennessee. This is another state that's that's going to make the Bible the state book. Este es otro estado que va a hacer de la Biblia el libro estatal. We had two states do it already. Ya tenemos a dos estados que lo han hecho. So you see what's going on? There is a division in the nation. Lo que estás haciendo está comenzando una división en la nación. There are certain states that are Wanting to go to, to the Lord. Hay unos estados que quieren ir hacia el Señor. And there are others that are going absolutely against Him. Y hay otros que están yendo en contra del Señor. Okay, so keep this in prayer that the Bible would become Tennessee's state book. Mantengan esto en oración para que la Biblia se convierta en el libro estatal de Tennessee. Next story. La próxima historia. Sickness. Enfermedades. Deuteronomy 28, verse 22. Deuteronomio 28, verse 22. The Lord said, I'm going to bring diseases upon you. El Señor dice que va a traer enfermedades sobre S ustedes. Specifically, fever and inflammation. Especialmente la fiebre y la inflamación. Now, remember last week. ¿Te acuerdas la semana pasada? Or pasado, two weeks ago. O dos semanas atrás. We were talking about the Indiana governor. Hablamos del gobernador de Indiana. Signing the law. Que firmó la ley. To protect me. Para protegerme. To protect the churches para proteger la iglesia. from having to perform gay weddings. De, de, de permitirnos de no, de no permitirnos hacer Pro bodas homosexuales. Protecting businesses. Protegiendo If negocios. you're a Christian. Si tú eres cristiano. And you, you promote that. Y promueves eso. And some homo comes into you and says, shoot my wedding. Y algún homosexual viene y dice, filma mi, mi boda. And you respectfully say... I'm sorry, I, I can't be there, man. He is a friend of mine. He's a pagan. Go to him. He'll take your money. So a lot of people dislike that. Specifically, the governor of Connecticut. He was very vocal against that, saying that's discrimination. It is not discrimination. It is being smart. Okay? But God knows how to take care of things. Because in Connecticut... All of a sudden, de repente, these people got sick esta gente se enfermó with the Pau Asan virus. Con el virus Pau Asan. Okay, it's a bite from a tick. Es una mordida de un, de un, um, un bicho. Okay, that doesn't just give you Lyme's disease. Que no te da la enfermedad de la Lima. It kills you. Te mata. Y'all might want to repent a little. Quizá te quieras arrepentir un poquito. Because you can't see them ticks. Porque no puedes ver a estos. Don't go on a hike there, Mr. Governor. No vayas a esconderte, señor. Wink, wink, nod, nod. Okay, you see what God does? You speak boldly against his word? All right, we'll let you uh, have a few problems. And here in another state, in Arizona, they have found fleas with the black plague. The Black Plague, do you remember that in the Middle Ages? It killed one, I believe it's one quarter of the world's population. Nice. Y'all might want to pick up Bible and begin to read it. Because how do you die with the Black Plague? Fever. Fiebre. Inflammation. Inflamación. Respiratory disease. Enfermedad respiratoria. Okay. And fleas, do they come in just one? 
Y las, uh, las pulgas solamente vienen una. Once one flea has it, you can bet that 10,000 have it. Una vez que una pulga tenga esta enfermedad, todas la tienen. And how, how do fleas live? ¿Y cómo es que esas pulgas viven? Well, they go on top of a rat. Se suben en una rata. The rat comes into your town. La rata entra a tu ciudad. The, the fleas jump off the rat onto a cat. La pulga salta de la rata un gato. And then uh, they lay their eggs on the cat. Y ponen los huevos en el gato. Or a stray dog. O un perro callejero. Do the bend. And the, and the dog's trying to scratch off the fleas. Y el perro trata de, de uh, rasparse la, la, la pulga. And a plague starts just like that. Y la pulga, y la plaga comienza así. Next story. Próxima historia. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Deuteronomio 28, verso 15. God says, if you don't follow my word, Dios dice, si no sigues mi palabra, I'm going to give you all these plagues in abundance. Voy a darte todas estas plagas en abundancia. There was a study done recently in this story. Hubo un estudio que se hizo recientemente. That we have a lot more people that are poor. Que tenemos mucho más gente que es pobre. And they're using up 60% or more of their resources y que está utilizando el 60% o más de sus recursos on bare essentials. En, uh, cosas esenciales. And as we saw in Ferguson, Así como vimos en Ferguson a low income area una área de bajo, people, bajos impuestos, ingresos People are beginning to riot. La gente está comenzando a protestar. And as the stress of what the Lord is doing, y mientras el estrés de lo que el Señor está haciendo, there's going to be great civil unrest and riots they're talking about. Va a haber mucho um, movimiento civil y, y protestas, dicen. If you're living in New York City, si vives en Nueva York, Be prepared to leave and be prepared to leave rapidly. Prepárate para irte y prepárate para salir pronto. Because once this plague starts, porque una vez que esta plaga comienza, resources are going to become very scarce. Los recursos van a ser muy escasos. And people are going to start rioting. Y la gente comenzará a protestar. And as we saw with Hurricane Katrina, y así como vimos con el huracán Katrina. When people were at the Superdome, cuando la gente que estaba en el Superdome, the brother shot his sister to death for a bag of ice. El hermano disparó a su hermana por un uh, y la mató por una bolsa de hielo. And that's not counting all the rapes and other things that happened during Hurricane Katrina. Y eso no se cuenta las violaciones y todas las otras cosas que pasaron durante el huracán Katrina. People are getting very stressed out. La gente se está estresando mucho. Why? Because God is doing it. ¿Por qué? Porque lo, Dios lo está haciendo. You don't follow him. No lo sigues. You're going to have a problem. Vas a tener un problema. Next story. Próxima historia. Please pay careful attention to the war stories. Por favor, pon atención a las historias de guerra. Matthew 24, verse 7. Mateo 24, verso 7. Yeshua said, nation versus nation, kingdom versus kingdom. Yeshua dice, nación contra nación, reino contra reino. In his first war story, in kingdom versus kingdom, Iran sent their naval vessels to where Yemen is. Because Yemen is in upheaval and Iran is backing the bad people. Uh, Yemen is in, in, in civil war. Oh, Yemen is in guerra civil. And uh, Iran is backing the rebels. E Irán está respaldando a los rebeldes. Called ISIS. O ISIS. Okay. And Saudi Arabia has been bombing them. Y Arabia Saudita los ha estado bombardeando. In Yemen. En Yemen. So Iran has sent their navy to help. Irán ha enviado su naval para ayudarnos. In the next story. Y la próxima historia. Saudi Arabia stopped the Iranian navy from coming To, to Yemen. El Arabia Saudita negó la entrada a los buques navíos de Irán para entrar al Golfo de Yemen. Get ready for the fight, everybody. Prepárense para la pelea. Iran's not going to like that. Irán no le gusta eso. And Saudi Arabia is not that strong. Y Arabia Saudita no es tan fuerte. But the new king is trying to show his power. Pero el nuevo rey está tratando de mostrar su poder. And nobody can push his kingdom around. Que nadie puede empujar su reino como quiera. In the next war story, la próxima historia de guerra. Please take note of this one. 
tomen que, eh, nota acerca de esto. Por favor. Most of our uh, military command uh, was in uh, Colorado in the past. La mayoría de nuestros comandos uh, militares estaban en Colorado. Because we were worried about a nuclear war. Porque estuvimos preocupados acerca de una guerra nuclear. And it was in a place called NORAD. Que estaba en un lugar que se llamaba NORAD. And since the Cold War ended with Reagan, y como la, la guerra fría terminó con Reagan, they started to move things out of the mountain. Comenzaron a mover las cosas fuera de la montaña. But recently, Pero recientemente, they announced a $700 million contract un, un contrato de 700 millones de dólares to move all of our military command centers para mover todos los centros de comando de la milicia de Estados Unidos back into the mountain de vuelta a la montaña. because they're worried about an EMP. Porque están temiendo que vayan a, a, a ser atacados por una EMP. What is an EMP? ¿Cuál es un EMP? You take a nuclear bomb Tomas una bomba nuclear, and you blow it up about 10,000 feet above the ground. Y lo dispara, lo como a 10, pies de la and what happens ¿Y qué pasa? is a magnetic flux goes out. Es que el, el, el campo magnético se expande. And what will happen y lo que pasa, you see those transformers on the pole outside? Si ves esos transformadores de electricidad afuera, they'll explode. Estos explotarán. And what happens if they explode? ¿Y qué pasa si There's going to be a fire. Va a haber una fuego. What happens if they explode? ¿Qué pasa si they don't work anymore. Ya no what happens if they explode? ¿Qué pasa si you don't get any more electricity. Ya no vas a tener so all the police departments and all, everything will be checking with a head cut off. Todos los, eh, todo será como una gallina cuando no tiene cabeza. Okay. So why are they worried? ¿Por qué están preocupados? This next story. Esta próxima historia. There's the commander of our navy. Este es el comandante de nuestra naval. China has launched three new submarines. La China tiene tres nuevos submarinos. That have nuclear bombs on them. Que tienen bombas nucleares en ellos. And the commander said... We've lost track of them. Y el dice que perdieron, uh, eh, We don't know where they are. No, no sé dónde, no saben dónde están. And Russia has put out two submarines y Rusia ha sacado dos submarinos that are undetectable. Que no se pueden detectar. Remember the movie The Red October a bunch of years ago? ¿Recuerdas la película de Octubre Rojo? Where the, they had a submarine where you couldn't hear it? Donde tenía un submarino que ni lo podías escuchar. Russia has two of those now. Ahora Rusia tiene dos de estos. And what is what is been going on since Clinton? Y lo que ha estado pasando desde Clinton. Our military has been getting smaller. Es que nuestra milicia se está haciendo más smaller. pequeña y más pequeña y más pequeña. So get ready people. Prepárense. Civil unrest. Eh, no hay tranquilidad civil. The plague. La plaga. A Russian commander coming over our Mexican border. Un comandante ruso entró nuestro uh, límite México Estados Unidos. And now we don't know where the three Chinese submarines went to. Y ahora no sabemos dónde están estos tres submarinos chinos. Unless the Lord guards the house. A no ser que el Señor cuide la casa. The watchman watch in vain. El atalaya cuida en vano. All right, that's enough news stories for now. Es por ahora. There were 263 of you online last week. Hit the Hubieron, daggone donate button. Hubieron 263 de ustedes en la, eh, la semana pasada. All right.